I'm going to demonstrate the Excel subtotaling feature using these data, these campaign finance contribution data for uh, Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander. These have been downloaded from the Federal Election Commission website. The first step is to sort the data by whatever you're going to subtotal. In this case, that would be the contributor name. So I've just told Excel to sort the data by the name of the contributor. Now to get the subtotal going, I need to highlight all the data that I want involved in the subtotal and then find the subtotal button on the data menu here and tell Excel that for each time the contributor name changes from one thing to another that it needs to uh, subtotal whatever's in the amount column and show that subtotal. So that quickly it's done. If I choose the, the middle filter here, the two, then I see only the subtotals and I can go a step further and uh, actually copy just the visible data uh, go here to the Find and Select menu, choose Go to Special, and then Visible Cells Only, and then choose Copy, um, to copy those values, open up a new worksheet, and paste. Okay, and there are the subtotals only. If you don't do the special copy, you get additional stuff. Here, zooming in a little bit. And so now I can sort that data uh, by the amount column. Uh, there we go. Uh, sort by the amount and have it put the largest values at the top and now we can see who uh, the top contributors are. So that's the subtotaling feature within Microsoft Excel.